Alright guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I am talking about an over the top beautiful day here in the end times in paradise in the in the Trump tarred ground zero <laughs> of Dunellan, Florida here on this lovely it is a Saturday afternoon February 24th 2024 so uh I am off to my latest gig with uh, with these uh, Trump Tard buddies of mine uh, down here. What is the name of our band? Morally Flexible. Morally Flexible. Uh, <laughs> I I don't even know. I and I, I, I haven't. I've never even asked them where they have. They came up with the name Morally Flexible uh, for a band based in Donellan, Florida. Uh, that took some uh, that took some nerve. Uh, so, but I'm I I guess on the the uh, whole issue of uh, I I guess morally flexible is the is one of the subjects I've been thinking about uh, a lot you, you, you know living down here in uh, Trumpville USA and I and, and I'm still trying to to wrap my head around that dude my neighbor who I was hanging out with this morning uh, you know, I, I mean, I've known since the day I met him uh, that he is a hardcore Trump tard, and, and so all of the stuff uh, about uh, you know hanging uh, murderers. Uh, I, you know, as they say, I'm okay with that. You know, it, so none of the stuff. It was really surprising me, but then he, when he got on his anti-war uh, rant, uh, I was going, what? And then he went from there into uh, this uh, Corona pussy rant, and, and I was going, who the fuck? Uh, now, you know, I, I've said a million times I I have a bunch of friends that uh, of all of my you know friends I've got let's call it 20 friends of mine uh, who agree with me 100% on the whole uh, corona panic uh, thing 100% in agreement with me on that issue uh, being lefties that uh, you just I in, in even I still make the, the I, 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 I'm, I'm guilty of it a little bit uh, just assuming uh, that being having my opinions uh, on, on Corona panic are generally shared by Trump tards when about 18 of the 20 people I know who agree with me on Corona panic uh, despise Donald Trump uh, and, and the, you know and, and the goddamn horse he drove in on. Uh, but, but I don't think until today that I have ever met a Trump tard that agreed with uh, my, my friends who uh, act like that Corona panic uh, is is still an issue. I mean, it, it never was an issue. Uh, so how can something that never was still be? But I anyway, you know what I'm saying. 
uh, I, 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 I'm still shocked that uh, I I guess part of that reason is because I don't hang around uh, generally speaking I I, I don't uh, get friendly uh, with people who would vote for Donald Trump so maybe maybe there's more Trump tarred corona pussies out there than, than I realized but uh, so I, I am still guilty of the, the, the very thing I complain about people being guilty of and, and that's just making assumptions uh, uh, about people and uh, when, when you when you find out that somebody you know has a, a, a different opinion than you do uh, you know you got to decide which is more important uh, is my opinion uh, of, of something, uh, of a subject, uh, is it more important? Uh, am, I, am I so tied up in, in my teeny weeny little personal opinions that uh, I, I am going to throw away a, uh, a, a friendship? Uh, uh, over this, uh, but a lot of friendships have uh, been destroyed because you've you've got to learn to become morally flexible. Uh, more and more, we're we're going as more and more of these polarizing issues come up. Uh, and, and you, you, you find, you know, you find yourself in a different camp, uh, than, than one of your friends and more of the, and more of this shit's going to come up, uh, from, from this point forward where we're gonna, all of us are going to be getting hit by these things, uh, whether it's Donald Trump or Corona panic or, uh, anything else in between, and we're going to have to decide what's more important to us. Are, are we so fucking serious about ourselves? Are we, do, we t do we honestly take ourselves that seriously that uh, we can uh, not be friends with people who uh, don't think exactly like we do on every single subject. Now, obviously, you know, if there if there's 12 subjects, if there's 12 subjects and you go and you and your friend go down the list and you violently disagree uh, on on 12 out of 12 subjects, you know, at that point like like what the fuck? But good fucking god, I'm I'm going down my my, my ever shrinking list of friends, uh, thinking, you know, looking at them, it, it, that that if that that if my if, if I was so fucking conceited uh, and, and taking myself so seriously that uh, I am not going to tolerate. Uh, I anybody who uh, is uh, morally, uh, if I'm going to be so morally inflexible to move off my position, uh, off of whatever it is, uh, I, I, would e I would have e even fewer friends than I have, which is kind of hard to do. Uh, but, but good God, I, I mean, just being a doomer right off, right, right off. Imagine if uh, because I hold the opinion that humans need to go extinct, that humans are the biggest threat not only to humanity but to the planet, and I believe that humans need to go extinct. I'm a, I'm a huge champion of, glo of the collapse of global industrial civilization. I'm a champion of the extinction of the human race. 
I, uh, I, I, I champion the sterilization of the human race. Uh, imagine if, if one of my requirements, if one of my requirements that if I'm going to be your friend, you need to agree with me that humans need to go extinct and we need to sterilize the human race. Uh, we need to get rid of global industrial civilization and we need to sterilize the human race. Uh, uh, how many... Well, take a vote. Okay, does anybody out there, uh, Andy the Gardener, I think, agrees with me. Not sure if Book Hermit, Book Hermit, do you agree with that statement? Uh, how many of my imaginary friends out there, even in the Doomosphere, uh, would agree with me uh, on that? I, I, I could imagine, uh, you know, if uh, I'm going to go check on my piece of land. I have a few minutes to kill. I haven't been up here. I want to make sure the state of Florida did not accidentally burn down my piece of land. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm just trying to think. All right, these, these two guys I'm going to uh, play music with, uh, morally flexible. Uh, if, if we, if, if I've known these guys for 25 years. I was playing with these fellas 25 years ago when they were just getting into the Tea Party. I don't know if you remember uh, the Tea Party when uh, most of my friends down here were, uh, were getting into this tea party bullshit and trying to drag me into it and I was like what the fuck uh, or, or what the fuck uh, are you guys talking about so uh, anyway they've gone from the tea party to Trump Tards you know I, if they knew I mean they're, they're completely unaware of, of Humpty Dumpty tribe I mean absolutely unaware of Humpty Dumpty tribe I'm just wondering if these two guys, who I've been friends with for 25 years, uh, really enjoy playing music, having a couple of drinks with, you know, if they had any fucking clue, uh, even Collapse Chronicles, uh, if, if they knew uh, uh, about Humpty Drumpty Tribe or Collapse Chronicles, would I be uh, invited to get up on stage with them as part of Morally Flexible and, uh, and play music? I honestly don't know. What, I, what I'm thinking is that it would be a split ticket and that one of them uh, would, would, would watch Humpty Dumpty Tribe and roll his eyes and just laugh and, and go, Jesus, uh, Hambo must have eaten some fucking bad acid uh, sometime over the last 25 years. And the other guy uh, would, would say, fuck this dude. Uh, don't ever fucking, uh, you, you know what I'm saying, I'm thinking it would probably be a split ticket. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the, the, this whole subject of moral flexibility, how flexible are, are you going to be in tolerating your, uh, your your friends having uh, uh, different opinions uh, th than you do. Uh, so you know my my best friend in the world. This uh, you know she knows I call her a conspiracy wacko Trump tard. You know she is an anti-vaxer on steroids. Uh, she knows my opinion of Donald Trump. She knows my opinion of anti-vaxxers. She knows my opinion 
of uh, uh, now of chemtrails. You know, she's the one who actually got me to believe uh, in, in chemtrails. Uh, <laughs> she fully understands uh, that uh, my opinions are as far from her opinions. Now we do agree uh, on the you know on the corona panic side of it. But as I say, she went off and into the you know to the other side of the pea pod. Uh, so we agree on the corona panic end of it. But then, then, then of course, she uses she went from there. It, it, what was the last conversation I had about this with her about Corona Panic? Turbo cancer. Turbo cancer is uh, that she was suggesting that uh, our uh, a friend of ours died of lung cancer. A uh, a couple of weeks ago, and as far as I know, he's been smoking cigarettes for 50 years, dies of lung cancer, and she found out recently that he was vaxxed. So she doesn't uh, rule out. She, you know, she doesn't. She, you know, she was suggesting that the the corona panic vaccine just just hinting around that the corona panic vaccine gave my buddy turbo cancer and i reminded her that he is a heavy cigarette smoker and as far as I know, has been his entire life. And so she doesn't rule out uh, that maybe that had more to do with him getting lung cancer than, uh, than, than uh, getting uh, vaccinated. But uh, she's not ruling out the, 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 the vaccine as uh, is what gave him lung cancer. And I honestly believe this, you know, she, uh, she does not rule out that dinosaurs and humans lived on the planet at the same time. She, she thinks I'm probably right when I do rule it out, uh, you know, she says, you don't know that dinosaurs and humans never roamed this planet. And I said, darling, yes, yes, I do know. I do know. Uh, the, 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 this subject is not open to debate, and, but she was willing to debate me. My college-educated, intelligent friend was uh, is not ruling out that uh, that dinosaurs and, and, and humans uh, <laughs> walk this planet together. Not ruling it out. I'm probably right, but uh, I I don't know. She doesn't know. Uh, God. <laughs> Oh Lord, but, but imagine uh, if uh, like, like, like somebody is a different religion than you are. Uh, it, like I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm no religion, uh, it, it, you know. Uh, so uh, imagine if I could not have any Christian friends I could not have any Jewish friends. I could not have any Muslim friends. I couldn't have any Buddhist friends uh, because uh, because some friend of mine, you know, thinks uh, you know there's this uh, 
uh, you know, this, this old fat man in the sky who loves them. What does George Carlin say about the, the old fat man in the sky who loves you but will uh, send you to hell to burn uh, for eternity in hell? if you, uh, whatever, do one of those ten things. Ugh, Jesus. <laughs> so... I guess uh, there, there, there's probably plenty of people who, uh, who choose uh, not to have uh, any friends. So I'm I, got, I get this message from Pile of Fish. I almost forgot about Pile of Fish. So this is the first one in New York where, you know, I, I, I saw her profile and put one of those little hearts for likes, which I've done to about 40 women in New York. And uh, this is the first one that has, you know, so she's gone and looked at my profile and she is hit like so uh pile of fish says she and i are a match now she lives almost two hours away from me unfortunately and that's no good uh but so i go on her profile and she is basically a hippie chick realtor she's a a uh <laughs> An out of the box hippie chick realtor, and uh, who lives in the Finger Lakes of New York, but the opposite corner of the Finger Lakes than I do. And uh, and I'm going through her profile, and of course, she uh, she never mentions Donald Trump. Donald Trump's name never comes up. The Corona panic never comes up, but what she does mention is that she is an organic vegan that uh, she is an organic vegan and she says don't worry i'm not a purist i am an organic vegan but she is not a purist organic vegan and uh she is looking for positive, upbeat men in the Finger Lakes of New York who uh, are looking for a hippie chick realtor uh, in the Finger Lakes of New York. So if she can just find a, a positive, upbeat, uh, hippie dude realtor in uh, the Finger Lakes of New York, and maybe she will uh, excuse the uh, smell of, of uh, pork chops on my breath. <sighs> anyway, we will see how she doesn't sound like she takes herself very seriously. I don't see any signs of her... Uh, if she can, if, if she can be run off by a pork chop or not, so uh, I will uh, have to compose an email to her, see if I can uh, avoid the subjects of Donald Trump or Corona panic. And I thought there was that they had been burning up here. I'm, now I'm getting afraid. Well, they burned two years ago. You can still see all the black tree trunks. So maybe they're not. Uh, maybe they're not going to burn again this year. All right. Good out there and uh, enjoy not taking yourself too seriously with those uh, opinions. Alright, I'm not sure I know where I am.
my guys.